working on The Real O'Neills has been the greatest experience of my entire life. Um, it's very, very uh, uncommon to work with a group of people who are all on the same level as each other and are really, you know, amazing at the craft that they're doing. And I, there was not a single day where I didn't want to be there. There was not a single hour that I didn't want to be there. Um, we really, what people don't realize is that a lot of times these families don't really become families. They kind of split up and, you know, they're all, it's their job. For me, it was, we really became a family and I see these people all the time and, and I hope that I can do this for many years to come because the, it was the greatest experience of my life. Who's the biggest prankster on set? The biggest prankster on set is uh, J.R. Ferguson. Um, he likes to scare me a lot. He also likes to uh, make me break character any chance he gets, which usually prolongs our day by a couple hours, and it's not a good look. Um, but he, any, any chance he gets, he likes to mess with people. If I could have coffee with anyone, dead or alive, I think it would be Ernest Hemingway. What would you ask? I would ask him why he's such a nihilist. If you could be in any movie in history, what would it be? If I could be in any movie in history, I'm gonna go low ball here. I'm gonna say holes.